Hey guys, I'm at Vid Summit. I just was lucky enough to meet Shanduras, Tanner Fox, Holiday. This place is unbelievable. I am 100% lucky and blessed to be uh, hanging out in LA. Look at this. This is my view. It's unbelievable. So happy. LA is dope. LA is dope. I've met so many incredible people here already, and it's weird to talk about the thing that I'm having the hardest time with. I don't know, just being open and honest and trying to genuinely connect with some of these people. I know I have to walk around, shake hands, and kiss babies. It's proven to be like one of the hardest things, and I didn't think that it was going to be coming here. I've never been like an extrovert, and knowing that everybody in here is kind of in the same boat should make me feel better. I don't know if it is. Right for an and Tom. Hey! You, and then suddenly you get in front of a camera and you're like, oh, and then now you're finding that discouraging. Tom, how do you deal with it? Because that's awesome. The fact that you connect on that level with the creative process, I don't necessarily think of it as a bad thing. Uh, it's my vein. It's, it's, I'm on there. I love, I love my vein. Yeah, I'm on the top. Yo, number one. Boom. I guess that was we're here to help each other, and the connections you make, the connections you make, ideally, they awesome. Uh, it makes it makes my head spin. How crazy it is! And Jack Conti. That's so silly. No, it's okay. It's how I felt about standing five feet away from me. This is a, actually it's it's a perfect way to to intro. Oh, you're filming. I am. <laughs> I'm so relaxed over here. <laughs> So this is actually like the first speaking part uh, in video addressing you guys that I've had in the past couple days, uh, actually in the past like week, because I've, I've deterred from like that traditional vlogging style to, to focus more on storytelling and like emotional invoking story. Being here at Vid Summit in uh, California, by the way, uh, I'm at Vid Summit in California. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like I'm just, I'm hyped. I'm nervous, I'm scared, and it's just uh, like a, a big ball of emotions that I'm slowly starting to chisel away at as I interact, network, and learn in the pat in the for the next like three or four days. So with that being said, I just I want to inter I want to I want to get somebody's take. And guys, this is Natalie. Uh, if you've been following the channel for at least the, the past two to three months, <laughs> uh, Natalie was my collab partner for a vid summit. The vid summit. 2018 challenge where she reached out to me and wrote this script in this incredible video. Please, <laughs> I wanna go to Vid Summit so freaking bad, I can't even tell you. It is, seriously, YouTube is my passion. This is my thing. I love the business side of it. I am an entrepreneur at heart. I I know this is where I'm meant to be. Pitching to Daryl Eves why she should also be here. <laughs> it's so crazy to think about that. <laughs> She won, so she's here. So let me get into like the meat and potatoes of of this video. Hey, I'm excited. So Cody and I talked about this morning on like our morning coffee run, which was him skateboarding and me running behind him. We talked about the importance of a, an underlying network that raises everybody and the connections that you make and having an opportunity like Vid Summit to ultimately find each other, to raise each other up and to, to grow as like a YouTube family. Right. And I kind of want to get your take on it, being new into the YouTube scene, meeting all these incredible people. Jack, God, he's like great. <laughs> and uh, just having this insane opportunity to to be able to interact with, I would, I, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but like some of my personal idols and people that I look up yeah. to and, and have influenced me in not only creation, but like the way I live. It's silly, right? No, not, not at all. Do you mind all. if I get your take on it? Absolutely. This is crazy. 
<laughs> All right, so go ahead. My take on this entire experience, number one, I can't even believe I'm here. Just the fact that reaching outside of your comfort zone can actually open up so many more opportunities for you. And I think that's the biggest takeaway that I have so far. This has actually become something that's been more eye-opening than what I had originally planned on. And, and I think here's the biggest thing, right? And I don't want to talk too abstractly. When you've got an idea in your mind and then you actually execute that and then doors open for you, you don't actually recognize what's happening until you're here. Like I'm still in the twilight zone being here. And you know, yesterday I was five feet away from Peter McKinnon. I'm texting Tom, I'm texting my husband, I'm texting everybody like, holy shit, I'm like right next to this guy. And it's funny because I don't know that most people would understand the reason why that is. And it's, it's because when you're here and you watch somebody grow from nothing to something, I've been around the whole Peter McKinnon scene for, for too long. I've been, I'm like stalker status. <laughs> and I really, really, I, I like love what he does. And it it's so inspiring to me. And, but to be standing in the same room and to be thinking that all of us are basically on the same level, we're all just creators, you actually start to realize that anything outside of your comfort zone, all it does is just open you up to something else that you've never experienced. Actually being a part of that and creating with other people, the fact that there's an opportunity to build each other up, um, literally the sky is the limit. Like, and I know it's like the stupidest, most cliche BS that you hear every day, but like, if you just put yourself out there and you're genuinely, quote unquote from Tom, unapologetically yourself, it's amazing the, the actual, things that are happening because people like you genuinely for you it's not about you know just your content like suddenly you're now in a room with people that are like hey like you deserve to come up with us you deserve to be here so be here and be engaged and be genuinely interested in other people so I think I've rambled a lot but that's kind of that's been my feeling since being here and it's it's so weird like I still can't believe I'm here like it's so weird well, I am <laughs> I'm super glad you are here and I'm honored and and beyond stoked to, did I just punch a bug? You did. Beyond, it's awesome. Over there. <laughs> Definitely just punched a bug. Oh my gosh, they're still falling from the trees. I don't know if you yeah, saw that. Yeah, we should probably go, go, but I'm honored and pumped to, <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> uh, to be a part of this event and to finally have met you ah! and just, I love everything about this. All right, but we should probably be learning, right? All right, let's go back inside, go to a class. I'm so happy you finally sat down with me. Guys, links for Natalie's channel, which is unbelievable. She conquers conquers her own fear and eventually will start pulling people on to, to conquer their own on her channel called The Ripe Ruin. Natalie, thank you again. No, thank you, Tom. This is literally the most amazing thing, and I have everything to give. Thanks She's to this guy over here. full of it. I don't, like, no. I don't like recording this. I'm going to have no. part. You want to know why? It's because literally compliments make him insecure, and they shouldn't. That's a fear we're going to get over. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs>